Being in a wheelchair has never slowed down John Forbes, but for the first 14 years after his spinal cord injury, Forbes says something else nearly broke his will to live. It was pain, electric shocks of pain, in areas of his body that were paralyzed. It was horrible, excruciating, and it, and it never stopped. You wake up, it's there. All day, it's there. You go to bed, it's there. In a cruel paradox, Forbes says that the pain felt like it came from areas of his body that no longer had normal sensation. I had tried pretty much every kind of drug, um, tried exercise, tried you name it, anything and everything to try and get this pain to stop, and it wouldn't. And I was working at uh, an investment bank um, and decided that was it, quit my job and decided this was <clears throat> going to be the end. I just couldn't take it. Then Forbes learned about a Denver neurosurgeon who uses spinal surgery to stop so-called suicidal pain. Patients, when they ultimately come to me, I'm kind of a last resort. Scott Felchi is the chief neurosurgical consultant at Denver's Craig Hospital, which specializes in spinal cord injury rehabilitation. Fauci says patients often come to Craig after other pain therapies have failed, with some doctors saying the pain is all in their head. Many of our patients are told that this could be a, a psychological problem, a psychiatric problem. But he says it's mainly a spinal cord problem. To resolve it, Fauci's operating team opens up the backbone to reveal the spinal cord. They look for tiny areas of electrical hyperactivity above the spinal cord injury. Using heat, Fauci kills those hot spots. And while it's previously been thought impossible to uncover, he also finds and kills hot spots below the spinal injury. Fauci calls this the most effective way to eliminate extreme neuropathic pain. 85% of the time, we can get rid of sharps, burns, electrical stabs. Fauci says this can be life-changing. It was for John Forbes, who got this surgery two years ago. I'm a pretty happy person these days. Just two months after the operation, Forbes landed a new job as the deputy treasurer for the state of Colorado. I'm not 100% without pain, uh, but I can live, uh, and I want to live, uh, which is, you know, thank God for saving my life, Dr. Felchi, you know. Fauci's work makes him confident there's more to discover about how the human body deals with injury and pain. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender in Denver, Colorado.